What's up guys, Senator Stocker here for a brand new video. Today is Friday, and I'm just kinda of just gonna vlog it up around town. I have a couple places of mine I wanna check out, so I'm gonna hit those up in a little bit and hopefully find some cool things there and just kinda of see what else I might get into on this day and get ready for the weekend to come. Hope you guys are having an awesome Friday and weekend. And unfortunately on this day uh, in the hip hop world, Prince Marky D from the Fat Boys uh, passed away today at the young age of 52. And I always love that movie, The Fat Boys uh, Disorderlies, Great movie, I used to watch it all the time on HBO as a kid. I got the soundtrack, I bought a Vinyl Junkies um, like a couple of months ago or so, so I'm gonna definitely be playing that. I'll show you guys right now what, what it looks like. And that's him right up there. Unfortunately, yeah, 52 with Fat Boys. Great movie, Disorderlies. Got the soundtrack for, I think, a couple of bucks over at the record shop where I meet by me, Vinyl Junkies, so. And I'm gonna play some of this in a little bit. I can't play it for you guys, but great movie. Definitely, if you have this, watch this over the weekend in his honor bust out some fat boys albums classic band from the day from back in the day man the 80s style goodness hip-hop right there <laughs> that's my uh, rendition right there yes all right my first stop of the day i'm gonna go check out bargain hunters what's up dude how's it going bro what's up yeah. Cine stalker oh, boom. i had to come here to see what you guys got going on the sale going on still 25% off. Yeah, the entire store. But hey, before we talk about that, yeah. let me just take a moment and everybody at home do the same thing. Okay. Let's click that like button, thumbs it up, and let's give Danny a subscribe. Ooh, thank you. Just I send appreciate a stalker. It. We're going to subscribe, and then we're going to turn our bell notification on so we get the information, right? There you go. It's always yes. a good thing to do. That's always, always a good thing. But right now, we're 25% off. Yes. And then it's, we're only a few days away to go to 40% off. Oh, probably that's right. Next, probably next Thursday, I think we're going to Next switch. Thursday, so a week from today, pretty much. Today's Friday, about it's a week. Friday, about a little, 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 yeah, less than a week. Just watch the Facebook. We'll put it up there. Yeah, check sure. my man's Facebook. Make sure you're, you're on his Facebook. Like it. This way you get keep updated. Forty percent off all this stuff here. Oh my goodness. That's some good deals. Wow. But right now everything is twenty five percent off. Okay. Actually, that's still good. Been, we've been selling like crazy at twenty five percent off. I'm surprised how much stuff we sold. No, that's this. good. That's good. So good. I'm afraid to see what it's gonna be like when we go to forty percent. It's gonna be like to be a crowd up in there and all. That. You know what I mean? Like, it'd be like buy yeah, everything. Yeah, buy everything out. But that's okay though. That's, yeah. that's nothing wrong with that. We're good with it. There's nothing wrong with that. So I'm gonna go in here. See what kind of stuff you got going on. Probably, probably buy a few things. I'm sure I'm looking for some records on I might get. You know, for 25% off, so I might get some of those and whatever, whatever else I might see. Who knows? Hey, you need to get together with the Fluffy Gamer. We got to get everybody here before before it shuts down. Oh, we got it. We got to do like a video here too of that. Yeah. Like, um, because it's like about like a month and a half away, roughly. Roughly, but well, well, what are we at? Like end of February, so we're yeah. about a month. So we'll like probably month. close so good, March good, 22nd. Okay, so a good month. Yeah, about a month. Yeah, we'll definitely. Roughly. Yeah, I'll definitely bring like Fluffy here, and we'll do like a whole just video we'll get kind of get kind we'll of cry, sort of remember we'll memories we'll, yeah we'll cry you know we'll hug it out yeah <laughs> we'll hug it out bro yeah like that. <laughs> no actually that, that's we're gonna do heavy drinking let's just be honest yeah, 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 that's okay tim there will be heavy yeah. heavy drinking and i know fluffy game he likes those those kind of you know acquired taste 211s yeah they're, they're the only very guy acquired that walks around with 80 ounces yeah <laughs> <laughs> those things are harsh <laughs> i'll go in there and see what they got man see what all right got. i'll go subscribe you go check it out it's I'm going to start off by the movie section first. Let's do it up like that and see what kind of tapes I might find up in here. Let me see what is down here. What do we, what do, what do we get? What do we got? Let me see. Da, 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 da. What is this? What is this? Where? Uh, look at this one. Huh. I don't know what that is, but yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. But let's go see what else is up here. Let's go look around and see what else I can find. These are kind of either like some old flyers. I got George uh, Clinton. Some other bands from back in the days are pretty cool looking. These old flyers of uh, old rock and funk bands. And up here are these old books. These like uh, Goldilocks books, I think they're called. Something like that. Benji. Those are pretty cool. I remember getting those as a kid. Yes, those are always good nostalgia vibes with those. Yeah, yeah the little golden books. Yeah, I was thinking Goldilocks. <laughs> what else we got up here? I still got some board games, I see. Wheel of Fortune. What else we got up here? Da, 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 da. Some, yeah, some cool stuff. Maybe I'll get one of these. Let me look around and see what they got. And then I gotta make my way down the toy aisle area, see if I see any new ones. And yeah, see, everything's 25% off. So get your butts down here if you guys are in the Southern California area or anywhere in San Diego, because there is some treasures to pick up. We got all these, some of these, got some, some DVDs right there too. And now I gotta check out the vinyls, because I might get some of these. Definitely always on the lookout for some uh, vinyls to add to my brand new collection. 
So it has a little bit more. Get some links, video games. Those are always cool. Look at those. Not bad. 15 bucks. 20% off that. Pretty good, good, dang good deal. I guess left bargain hunters. Renee was a little bit busy when I was talking to a customer about maybe buying some cards, I think. But I bought like, I bought five albums in here. All were on sale because everything's going off for 25% off right now. So I got some pretty cool stuff. I'll show you toward the end of the video. And yeah, really good stuff though. But definitely make sure to check out my man Renee's bargain hunter store. If you guys are in the Southern California area, check them out before they um, you know close up shop about another month or so from now might be out of there like a month month and a half so if you want to buy some stuff anything you like in the video make sure to come down here come down before it's gone and uh, do it up like that but yeah good stuff always cool seeing renee and now off to the next spot now i'm back home in my neck of the woods i was like i'm going to go to places but i was like let me go home real quick drop the records off i'm a little bit hungry too so i figured you know what I feel like getting some meat over here for some of these food trucks up here. So I'm thinking about getting these. There's like a really good fish taco one. I think it's still open. So I'm gonna go there. And I don't think I've shown you guys what it looks like. It's a really good fish taco place. They have a really good ceviche too. And it's like right over there. So hopefully it's still open. Let's, let's go see. And if not, there's a whole bunch of other like food places around here. There's like a lot of like restaurants up that way and over there. So there's like a ton of food places. So if that one's like closed for some reason, then I'll go somewhere else. The one right there's a couple of one right there another like good Mexican one and they got this one called the uh Bocce I'm still gonna go to the Bocce Grill one. I'm still gonna go there. I thought they were open. They're closed so now somewhere else. Maybe I go this place. Maybe maybe I'll go there. All right so I just uh ordered my food at the Bocce bus. It's about a 30 minute wait. It was kind of pricey. It was like um $18 and 50 cents or so so what the heck, I'm gonna try it out. It's, it's, like, it's, it's close to my place, so I'm gonna finally try it out, see how it is. I got like this chicken and like veggies, and I got and I ordered extra fried rice because it comes with steamed rice, but I wanted to get fried rice. So go there, check it out, and now I'll get 30 minutes to wait. So I'm just gonna walk around here and um, see what to do. It is pretty busy right now. I, I can easily just go home and just kick back at, at the pad, but I figured, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. I'm vlogging right now, so I'm going to just kind of walk around, kill some time in my neck of the woods, see what is going on and then go up in about you know 20 minutes or so and get my food <laughs> so it's a little bit it's like i said it's like almost 20 but i gave him like a tip so it was like 20 dollars so it's a little bit pricey for like a food truck thing but i heard good things about it it looks really good on their instagram so definitely want to try it out see how it is and uh, i'm sure it's delicious but uh we'll see how it is the portions and i'll let you guys know when i get the food i'll eat it at the pad yes indeed you can see it's real busy right now everyone's at the um some of the, you know, the restaurants now we can eat um indoor outdoor like not indoor but kind of, as long as it's like outdoor kind of like what these are you can eat them eat at them now so it's like, I think it's like the second week in the row you can do that so that is good news for the area it's a good italian place over there burnside and that kind of thing make sure i don't step in any uh it almost looks like cat litter so make sure i don't step into a crap almost has like a cat litter look to it and i just kind of just see what is um just kind of see what's going on that's the alleyway right over there or a few months back or so me and brendan did a live stream we were drinking back there <laughs> so i'm just kind of you know kill a little bit of time and head back to pick up my food like i said i could go home but i'm like eh, i was walking around i'm not sure if like some of the maybe maybe i should get the antique shop it might be open but i think it's closed it's about a little after seven right now so it's probably closed i think most things are just like restaurants that are open right now like over there but yeah Let's check it out. Good old sombreros. I don't. I go there sometimes. They're just okay. And across here over there at the uh, Station Tavern, a big line. I see people wanting to go there to eat. Pretty pretty cool place. They have pretty good uh, burgers, sloppy joe like fries. I got. It's like it's pretty good. There's the antique shop. Yeah, it's it's, it's uh, I think it's closed. Yeah, it closed up. So it is closed around. I think an hour ago, which I thought. But pretty cool stuff. That's a pretty neat bar. Old school bar uh, right there. Right now I'm at 7-Eleven because I just remembered I forgot to buy some drinks at my place. And I feel like really going to Target right now to like carry like a big troll pack of like music like it's like like the water. So I might just have to grab something here and uh, yeah, do it up like that. Try to figure out what to get. Maybe one of these. Get some water and I got some blue talkies for the hell of it. Cause I'm like, yeah, I just want to just get that. I feel weird just buying that. Cause I live like right over, like pretty close. I'm just buying stuff and I put it in the bag like a, like a weirdo. But I, I, I just feel like going there right now, 
and lugging like a bunch of like heavy drinks up against this. Let's get this and I'm, I'll probably go back over there tonight or something. Who knows? Or tomorrow for sure. Let's go see if my food's ready. Finally back home now with the food. And it was just like, it's, it's a little bit warm, but like not that warm. Like it was like, I don't know if it's been sitting there. Cause I think when they called my number, I can't really hear it that good because of like the loud generator over there. So I was waiting there and like five minutes later they called the number again. I was like, that was my number. I think this was there for at least five minutes. I've been there before that. I don't even know. So that's always a little bit disappointing for the price he paid. And like, I hope it's like still warm. We'll find out. Okay, okay, get cool. We got the sauce right there. Thank goodness you get some sauce. Cause I'm like, man, what the heck? So look, actually look, looks pretty good. It's like the portion size looks pretty good. I, I wash my hands, you see, yep. It's still pretty warm, like a little bit. It's okay, like kind of not super warm. Like I think I don't know if my food was sitting there for longer or what, but what is, I don't know what this even is. So I'm gonna put this to the side. I get some like this other sauce, and then we'll try this out. I try the regular chicken just like this, like just plain. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Pretty good, nice peppery. Peppery and stuff, nice good flavor to it. Fried rice, whoa. Mm-hmm. Fried rice is good. Really good fried rice. Nice flavor to it, like it was like buttery kind of. Mm. Let's try the veggies out. It's like zucchini. You can see right there. And some onion. And like um, I think so. I think that might that might be it. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, yeah. it's pretty good. Let's try this orange one. I, don't, I have no idea what it even is. Try that out. Mmm, yeah. Mm, that's good. Mmm, that's tasty. Let's try this other sauce, this brown sauce. I don't know if it's like teriyaki or... I don't know what this even is. Yeah, I think it's teriyaki. Mmm, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm. That's good sauce, the sauce is really good. It's, it's tasty, it's really good. A little bit pricey, but you do get a pretty good amount. Like I wish it was a little bit more meat. It's like this little little cup right here of the meat. Like it, it's, it's not a bad amount, but I wish it was a little bit more meat. There's a lot of rice, so the rice will fill you up a lot and some of the, the veggies, which I wish were a little bit warmer. Not bad though, but overall it's pretty good. I right, ate my food, I didn't finish it all. Like I ate all the meat and the veggies and about half the rice, I got really full, but I heated it up a little bit in the microwave and it tasted uh, even better. I think because I missed the initial number because the, 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 the worker said go there about a half hour later, the food would be done in about 30 minutes. So I went there about 20 minutes after she said that. And I, like I told you earlier, I missed the number. So it was sitting there for like five minutes or so. So I think if I would have got it initially, it would have been just like a lot warmer, but still was really good though. Definitely a good spot, like I said, a little more pricey than a normal food truck, but it's good quality. It's like bringing the restaurant back to you. It's like hibachi style, so it is good stuff. But now, so I did enjoy that. I'm very full, and I'm good. And it was like pretty pretty healthy. It was like chicken, veggies, and some rice, so not bad. But anyway, so now I'm going to um, show you the records I picked up right now. I picked up five vinyls from my man Renee at Bargain Hunters Thrift, so really good deal I got in these. And I'm going to show you what I got. I got some really cool stuff. And stuff I didn't think I would actually find, and I found. I was like, whoa. I'm surprised this stuff was still there. And this stuff's been there for like a long time now, these vinyls there. So some really cool ones I'm going to show you right now. Let's get down to it. So I cleaned up the dinner table. It's all clean, so there's no, you know, uh, food residue on here. I always wipe everything off. So in case you're wondering, it is wiped off. I'm going to show you the vinyls in no particular order. We're trying to figure out which one to start off with. Trying to see... Boom, 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 Miami Vice. Oh, yeah. What I like, too, it still has the old sticker on it from the store. It's like it's in this little, so because of the, this protective case, and it also has the cellophane on it still, too, the shrink wrap. This original price. And all these I got for a pretty dang good deal, too. And so, uh, but yeah, look at that, the old, old school TV show with, you know, um, Don Johnson, and his sidekick, and it's all kinds of good stuff, like super, super good cheese, goodness. Oh yeah, I pretty much wanted for the classic Miami Vice uh, song, the theme song, but yeah, that's like super great 
80s vibes. And majorities are soundtracks, except for one that's not. Another really cool soundtrack I did not think I would find. And I found this. Look at that. Oh, it is the Running Man vinyl soundtrack. What? How cool, man. Like, this is awesome. And what's nice, too, look at it has the old Tower Records price on there for $9.44. I love that. We'll keep that on there. It's inside the shrink wrap of this thing. Super, super rad. I don't know if there's anything inside. Let's go see if there's anything inside here. I don't know if there is or not. So let me open this up. I can see it. And here is the back. Dude, I didn't even know this was even on. Uh, I've never seen the vinyl this before, ever. So, great classic movie. I think they're remaking this, I heard. I'm not sure who's directing it, I forget. But, yeah, the original. And here it is. Look at this. It's, like, brand new. I think all these came from, I believe, The Hoarder House. I could be wrong, but I think so. The so two soundtracks I'm showing right here is not a soundtrack, but I had to get it. I don't even know what this uh, band even sounds like, but from the cover... I had to get this. It looks super cool, cheesy, fun 80s. And it's this one with ninjas. Ninjas. And it is Ninja. The Ninja Warriors of Rock. Look at that. Has the old school price tag at 50 cents. And I didn't get it for 50 cents, but I did get it for a really damn awesome deal. I got all these for an awesome deal, man. So thanks so much again for, for uh, Renee for doing a great deal on all these bad boys up here. And here's the back of this. Like I have no idea what this even sounds like, but it looks awesome. Like, cheesy 80s goodness like this like a guy with a guitar with his axe and he's like a like a fog machine and flames back there look at the name of these some, some of these song titles like blade we're the ninja sort of remind me of uh My, miami connection like that ninja song like you know, that we you know ninja so i don't know if it sounds like that or not but i hope it does let's see what this looks like let's see what this is nothing crazy but here's like uh, the song and you get the nigga they get ninjas secret society you see special discounts Oh my god, become a, a member of the Ninja Secret Society. Oh my god. Like, what is this? I have no idea. But this looks absolutely cheesy and amazing by Rage the Music Company. I never heard of that uh, company before. Next up, here's a soundtrack off of, of a really cool movie, out of print movie, that has uh, Tim Curry in it. And I didn't even know this was even on vinyl. I was like, oh wow, this is awesome. What is this? Real double album, uh, Times Square, that movie Times Square, great movie, out of print movie from Anchor Bay, I do have it um, over there in my DVD collection, and I've never seen this album before, ever, and I was like, oh my god, I was like thumbing through like the back of the records, and I seen this there, and I was like, how did I, how did I miss this, how did anyone miss this, like this is, this is crazy, like, this is, I did not think this is like, this is pretty cool. Uh, a lot of good bands in this thing. A lot of good, like, some got some punk rock up in here, Ramones. You got some, you know, the Pretenders. You have a bunch of stuff, you know, The Cure. Really good music in this thing. So you open it up, there's like, this, there's an album here, and there's an album right down there. So let me open this up. Brad Sleeve, like, check that out. Look at that. But yeah, last but not least, uh, I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness, well, how is this still here too? How is this still here? With the new movie coming out, this year, from this amazing franchise, Epic Toy Line, we got the original Ghostbusters soundtrack on vinyl. Yes, we do. Oh my, I love how that looks. That is definitely a wall hanger for sure. Um, yeah, this is this is awesome. I mean, original vinyl of the Ghostbusters soundtrack. Are you kidding me? Especially with a new movie coming out. And you get the toys. I've been buying some of those retro toys. To have this, one of my favorite movies of all time and cartoon series ever. Um, so cool. I thought you got the first movie. Classic. Um, dude, I mean, how how is this still there? I don't know. How are these still there? I don't know when buy these. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I got lucky. So let's open this up and see how it looks inside. Oh, wow, look at this. Has the original sleeve, Arista Records. It's still in the original uh, protector sleeve. That is so cool. And there it is up there. I'm going to take it out of the way. But you can see Ghostbusters 1984. Oh, my. This is, this is rad as hell. Speaking of the Ghostbusters soundtrack up here, there's a really good quote from the movie. Toward the end of the movie where Bill Murray and they, just, they destroy Stay Puff. And, you know, they're all right there. And he's like... It's, it's Miller time. It's, it's Miller time. Yes, it is. Yes, it is Miller time. I cracked it open. It's, 
It's Miller time. Indeed, it was Miller time today. And right there, just like that, that does it for this video. So just a quick little video, nothing super crazy today. Just kind of just went out, Burgunders Thrift, get some food, came back here, showed you the records I got, ate some food before that, had a quick little sip sip, and now I'm gonna listen to some music music. I wish I can listen to it with you guys, but copyright, I can't do it. But good vinyls, I can't believe I found those today at Burgunders Thrift. Amazing finds, that was so cool. Great deal on those I got too. Super amazing deal. So thank you, man, my man, Renee, again. Thank you, bro. If you guys don't know, Renee has a great YouTube channel. He's almost at 100,000 subscribers. I think, he, I think he has like 92 or 93,000 subscribers, like around there. So definitely subscribe to my man, Renee. Link down below if you have not checked out his channel. Like, what are you doing? Check it out. Subscribe. Tell him I sent you if you're new to his channel. Let him know. He's, he's a great guy. And if you're, if you're new in Southern California area, definitely check out his shop before they close up in about a month or so from now. So... A lot of great deals. Like I said, next week, 40% off. Next Thursday, we start starting off the store, 40% off. And every week after that, it's going to get a little bit less and a little bit less, I believe. So great finds. Go there, find some hidden, tre some hidden treasures. And yeah, that's it. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I will appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 15,000 subscribers and more to, to see how far we can go and take this thing right here. Let's go stock it up everywhere. And do it up like that. And I'll catch you guys later in the next video. I'll see you then. And bye-bye.